what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so as we know bradley beal signed his supermax extension with the washington wizards this offseason and a lot of us probably think oh he just wanted the money he'll play for two years and then he'll request a trade maybe that will be the case but he has said that he wants to win a championship in dc i mean it would mean the world to him if he could do it and it would mean more to him than doing it with a couple of all-stars somewhere else so Today, we're going to try to make that happen. We're going to try to put a talented team around Bradley Beal here in Washington. We're not going to trade him. We're going to try to win a championship with Bradley Beal on this roster and see what we can make happen. So this should be a fun one. Before we get into these video, guys, make sure you drop a like on this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for that. But regardless, if we take a look at the Wizards roster as constructed right now, of course, Bradley Beal got his contract. You have Porzingis as well here that they traded for at the trade deadline, traded Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans. I hope it works out. I hope Porzingis is really good in DC. You have Kyle Kuzma as well, Daniel Gafford. Dini of Dia, Will Bard, Monte Morris uh, that they traded for. So they got Will Bard and Monte Morris from the Denver Nuggets by trading KCP and Ish Smith. Thought it was a solid trade. And then DeLon Wright also signed here. Rui Hachimura, Corey Kispert, Taj Gibson, they just signed as well. Johnny Davis, uh, they drafted Vernon Carey. So there's some decent players here, but obviously this team as of right now, as constructed, definitely not a championship roster and may not even be a playoff team in the East. We'll have to see how that goes for them. But regardless, we got to try we got to try to make this a team that works so that is what the plan is going to be so for this first off season i'm not going to do much of anything i kind of just want to see how things are going to go once i don't touch anything i'm going to assume uh that this team probably won't be a playoff team in 2k i i'm hope i'm wrong i hope they do make the playoffs immediately and then we kind of have something going but uh, i have a feeling we're not going to be that good to start this off so what we need to do is we need to get better. We need to get all-stars here. The problem with that is not a lot of players want to come to DC. So we pretty much have to force people dragging and screaming to come here to play with Bradley Beal. So that's going to be the plan. So um, we're going to try to make some trades. We're going to try to do some things to make this a championship roster around Bradley Beal. It's not going to be easy, but that's what is going to be fun about this. So starting five is DeLon Wright, Bradley Beal, Denny Avdia, Kuzma, Porzingis, Gafford, Monte Morris, Corey Kispert, Will Barton, and then you have Rui Hachimura, Rui Hachimura completely out of the rotation so honestly i think of the trade deadline is the first step we need to make a trade that's super significant at the trade deadline we have a plenty of pieces it's going to be hard to pull off a trade at the trade deadline but we got to try to make something happen so i do want to start my team morris over uh dawn right though to be honest with you so that is what i'm going to do so i mean they're both going to play a similar amount of minutes but still i feel like monte morris is just the better player maybe maybe i'm wrong does it really matter i don't know we're pr pretty much comparing apples to apples so proficiency wise we are at a Two and a half defense. We don't run. We do not want to run that. Uh, seven seconds for three star. So like I said, if things were going wrong, maybe Bradley Beal just is done. Request a trade. The problem with that is they gave him no trade clause. So don't really know how that's going to look. But he does. He did say he wants to win a championship in DC. And this is where he wants to be. So shout out to Bradley Beal. I respect it. So we need to figure out how to put a good team around him. So we're going to simulate this season. Most likely you're going to stop at the trade deadline to make something happen. Shot tendencies. Bradley Beals is very high. Porzingis, I need you to be a freaking stud here. When you were in the Knicks, you were a stud. I need you to be that again. Kuzma pushed up, uh, push up a little bit. Avdia definitely needs to come up a little bit. The man's like not going to shoot anything. And then Morris, probably same thing. I mean, we just need guys to step up and be good, to be honest with you. So we'll leave that all the way it is. We're going to submit it to the end of the season or probably stopping the trade deadline because we actually have some expiring salaries I want to take advantage of and try to get somebody here in DC. So let's go ahead and simulate probably to the trade deadline. And once we make a trade, I'll show you what we come up with. So we are at the trade deadline and I'm trying to acquire Miles Turner here for this Washington Wizards team to have a front court of Porzingis and Miles Turner going forward. So uh, right now, if I look at the five trades that I could send them, potentially you have Gafford and Will Barton. You have Kuzma and DeLon Wright, which is the one I want to do, but I'm trying to give Indiana something they'd want. I don't know why they would want Kuzma and DeLon Wright and that's it. So uh, unless we included a first round pick, which I actually kind of want to see my first for another trade. But Gafford and Will Barton, uh, this is an interesting one. They get Daniel Gafford is 24 years old. So maybe that's something we could do. And maybe that's the best thing to do. I kind of like the idea of keeping Gafford, though, which is why I'm hesitant to do this. But regardless, uh, then we could do this other one where we trade Denny of Dia and Will Barton, which this one's a decent one. So I think it's going to be between. And then I give up a first core kiss for Will Barton. So I think I want to do either this trade or the first one. Uh, it kind of depends. Do I want to keep Evdia or do I want to keep Gafford? And honestly, I don't know if I'll keep Evdia anyway in the offseason, but I just feel like he'd be used in a bigger trade. So 
I guess since we're getting a center and some front court depth, Gafford's going to be the one to go. So the Pacers move on from Miles Turner. They get a 24-year-old Daniel Gafford take on Will Barton's expiring contract. So this is the trade we are going to do. We're going to get Miles Turner here in Washington. Right now, we're currently fighting for a play-in spot. Uh, so now we have Porzingis. We're going to go to move him to the power forward spot. That's what he used to play anyway. So we're going to have Porzingis play power forward, which is great for us. And then we'll have him be a center still as well. So Porzingis and Miles Turner is kind of our new front court here in Washington. So this is what it looks like now. So it's Porzingis, Miles Turner. So we are kind of playing like uh, a big lineup if you, if you, I guess, if you want to say that. So regardless, 10 rotation still is working. Johnny Davis is even getting minutes right now, which is unfortunate. Really wish I was getting him some minutes, but uh, maybe he's part of a trade in the offseason. Who knows? I mean, again, I'm trying to build a championship team around Beal. So that's a start of things. So Miles Turner coming over here definitely helps out a little bit. But I feel like we are still not even done, not even close. So I do like the Miles Turner addition. We still got more work to do. So at the end of the season, Luka Doncic wins MVP. Chet's your rookie of the year. Drummond, six man. Giannis defense player. Alperin Shingun, most improved. And Nate McMillan is your coach of the year. And Nathan Mack is your executive. So here's your NBA first team. Luka, LaMelo, Giannis, LeBron, Jokic. All NBA second team. Ja, Trey, Zion, Tatum, and Embiid. All NBA third team. All defense first team. And all defensive second team. So unfortunately for us, we were bad. We, we were the 14 seed in the East. I mean, I kind of figured that would be the case. Obviously, we're trying to work on some things and it just didn't really work out. So player stats wise, 25 from Bradley Beal. You got uh, 19 from Porzingis, 13 from Kuzma, 11 and a half from Miles Turner, 10 from Monte Morris, 10 from Denny Avdia. We just have some work to do, man. That That's basically all it boils down to. I like the addition of O'Shea Brissett here in Washington. I feel like we got some pieces. We got Miles Turner, O'Shea Brissett. We got Porzingis. So we definitely have some things going, but we definitely need like another guy here just outside of Beal. So I like Porzingis to be that guy, but I just can't rely on him to be that anymore. I think we have to re-sign Porzingis. No, he's got a player option. I know Miles Turner is a free agent. So uh, we might have to re-sign both Porzingis and Turner, but Porzingis might accept his player option. Regardless, we didn't make it. I don't even know if our pick is lighter protected. I'm pretty sure the Knicks have it, if I'm not mistaken. So... Maybe I should go check up on them, or I guess I'll just see. Pelicans win the championship over the Hawks in four. Uh, but yeah, it definitely sucks to miss the playoffs. I mean, I don't know how upset Beal would be with that situation if they were the 14th seed. Probably not something we want to see. Taj Gibson retires, which is fine. Okay, so to the draft lottery we go. Again, I don't even know if my pick is protected or not. I'm hoping it is. I'm pretty sure it is, but I could be wrong. So we are projected the fifth overall pick in this draft, which could come in handy. Hey, maybe we win the Victor Webb and Yama sweepstakes, and that changes everything for us. So... Knicks get the 14th overall pick from the Heat, it looks like. Or no, that means the Heat moved to the top four for the 14th seed. All right, this is this is already chalked as it is. Okay, so we got Miami going from 14 to 2, and our pick is 7. So we got the 7th overall pick. Really unfortunate. We dropped all the way to 5 to 7. Miami drops to, or Miami goes from 14 to 2, which is insane. Regardless, we got some work to do. 7th overall pick is going to be traded. I don't think I'll uh, draft a rookie here, to be honest with you. I definitely think I'm trading this pick, and I'm trying to get a... a, a, a a wing or something here a point guard something to help out bradley beal and make this team a playoff team so we'll grab everybody we want uh coaching staff wise and we got to look around the league and see what is the best piece for us to grab for bradley beal to make him happy and uh, just give him a shot at winning a championship because this is where we really need to get aggressive here so uh how many players do I have under contract right now so we have Johnny Davis, Anthony Gale. So we might have to draft somebody and then trade them still. So I guess that's what we'll do. So I'm, I am i don't know who it is. Don't get too attached to them, but they're probably going to get traded. So uh, we got Amari Bailey, which I'll just take him, I guess, for this for this uh, example. So Amari Bailey, probably going to be using a trade. Not going to lie to you. So Trace Jackson Davis, uh, City Coast guy, I'll take him as well. So bring those two in. They're either going to stay. Most likely going to be traded, though. So Amari Bailey, they got City Coast go. So welcome to the team. Porzingis except Kuzma declines, which sucks. I want to use that money, but it's all good. Qualifying offers, Rui Hachimura is a free agent. Wanted to use him in a trade as well. I guess I should have when I had a chance. All right. Do I have money? I do not. Okay. So what salaries do we have attached to us right now? So we have uh, Monte Morris. Okay. We could definitely make up some salary. All right. So we need to look around the league. We got to find who is the piece to bring into Washington. We got to find that. So to start this offseason off, I'm trying to get Lonzo Ball from the Chicago Bulls. I think he'd be the perfect play, a perfect person to have next to Bradley Beal. So that's who I want. We have Amari Bailey, we have Johnny Davis. So one of them could potentially be in this trade. I'm going to try to squeeze a first round pick out of them as well, since I've given up a three and a half potential Amari Bailey. So let's see if they accept this. They do not. I'm sure if I remove the pick, they'd probably accept this. So DeLon Wright, the draft rights to Amari Bailey, Anthony Gale for Lonzo. They do not agree that. Wow, I thought for sure that would go through. Uh, what if I include Vernon Carey? They should accept this, and they agree. So we get Lonzo Ball. 
We traded the rights to Amari Bailey, which sucks, but Lonzo Ball is our brand new freaking point guard here in Washington. So Bradley Beal and Lonzo Ball is our new backcourt. I love it. I think it. Uh, I think they both complement each other very well. So we got Bradley Beal here, which is nice. Or I got Lonzo Ball, I guess I should say. So Lonzo Ball and Monty Morris is your point guard duo. You have Corey Kisper and Bradley Beal or Johnny Davis. So one of these two are probably going to be in the next move. Uh, then you have Dia right now is our starting small forward, which may not be a terrible thing to have. And then Miles Turner. And then I do want O'Shea Brissett back as well. So let's go ahead and sign these guys back. So I'm going to sign Miles Turner back to a contract. And I do want to sign O'Shea Brissett back. So we'll sign both of them. Bring them both back. We just traded for them. And then... Rui Achimura, not really sure what I want to do with him. Uh, I guess it's probably in my best interest to sign him and then maybe trade him later on. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll sign Rui Achimura. And then Kuzma, kind of the same thing. But it looks like it doesn't give me his bird rights, which is interesting. Unless if he already signed somewhere, which he might have, which is fine, I guess. Kyle Kuzma is gone. And I don't have money to sign anyone else, obviously. So Kuzma did not stick around very long, which is fine. Uh, so right now, this is what our roster currently looks like. So... Feeling pretty good about it, honestly. With the addition of Lonzo Ball, I think we definitely look a lot better on paper now. Obviously, uh, paper and making the playoffs is a two different things, so we'll have to see how that goes for us. We need a backup big, and Neuro's Dwell always fits the perfect bill. So I'm going to get Neuro's Dwell to be my backup center, and that's probably going to be it in free agency for us. Okay, do I want to make another trade this offseason? I definitely do, uh, but I uh, might have to wait because I just signed Roy Tremors, the money that I have. Unless we just like sign in traded him real quick and attach a bunch of players as well, which I guess we could say we can do. So small forward is the other thing we kind of need. And uh, if we're trying to put like a really good roster right now, if we look at the small forward position, we kind of need, well, I mean, we could really use anything, right? And honestly, like Ben Simmons from Brooklyn, wouldn't mind that at all. If, ben Sim if uh, Brooklyn was trading Kevin Durant and Kyrie, sure, they would do something like, maybe they would do something like that. DeMar DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, uh, Michael Porter, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins sounds perfect here as well. RJ Barrett, Sadiq Bay, RJ or Sadiq Bay would be awesome. OG and Anobi. Yeah, those are the kind of guys I want for sure. Uh, what if I could get like a Wiggins from Golden State who just gave him a big contract? Um, he averaged 16 points per game for the Warriors this year. I could have Andrew Wiggins. Let's see what it would cost me. So Porzingis, Corey Kispert, Miles Turner, Sydney. That's actually not too bad of a trade, but I don't want to trade Miles Turner. So Wiggins making around $20 million per year. Literally sounds perfect to me. Kind of who I want here in DC, but at the same time, I might have to wait. I might wait till the trade deadline to make another trade. I'm going to roll with Denny Avdia for now, see how he does. If he doesn't work out, we can make a trade. So Lonzo, Bradley Beal, Porzingis is kind of my big three with Miles Turner here, Denny Avdia, Corey Kispert, Monte Morris. Johnny Davis is up in overall. I'm going to move Johnny Davis to the two. Is not is Johnny Davis more of a shooting guard? I feel like he is. I'm going to move Johnny Davis to the shooting guard spot. And then hopefully he cracks a rotation this year. So... Yeah, this is a uh, better team we have out out east, but I don't think we're done yet. I still do think we need to make another trade. I want to get like a really good small forward here, but for overall, I'm feeling pretty good about how this roster looks compared to what we started with. So if we look at the rotation. I'm going to run a nine-man rotation this year. It's Lonzo Ball. It's Bradley Beal. Yeah, Denny of Diaz starting small forward. So if he decides to be really good this year, maybe we can't trade him, and he is the starting small forward going forward. Porzingis and Miles Cerny playing some big man ball here down low. Monte Morris off the bench, John Davis off the bench, Corey Kispert, and then O'Shea Bursett. And then Rui Hachimura not getting any minutes, which I feel bad about. Maybe I move Corey Kispert to small forward. He is 6'6", so we'll have him play back up three. Or he might even start. No, he doesn't. Okay, so bench is solid. Uh, Norris Well and Rui Hachimura both aren't getting minutes. We have depth, which is great. Proficiency, we have a three and a half, seven second system. We can be a four-star defense, which is kind of crazy. Maybe we run a defensive system. So if DM Miles Turner posing his fit this decently. So yeah. Wrestler on a defensive system. Lonzo Ball definitely helps out, obviously. So I'm happy to have Lonzo Ball here. I'm happy to have a better team here in DC. Hopefully, this leads to some results, though, in 2K. You know, we're trying to win a championship with Beal on the roster. I really like what we've been able to accomplish so far. Obviously, it is now time to put it all together and maybe make the playoffs here. Or, yeah, because this is a playoff team. 100% this is a playoff team. This should be a team that makes playoffs. So shot tendencies, Lonzo Ball, maybe boost it up a little bit, like a 75 ish. Uh, that's good. That's good. Miles Turner. Definitely want to see him still shoot a little bit more. Denny of Dia, same thing. Corey Kispert, Johnny Davis. They're fine. Okay. Well, let's go to celebrate this season. Hopefully we're a playoff team this year. Hopefully we don't suck and hopefully we're ready to make some moves out East. So at the end of the season, Luka Doncic is your MVP. Scudo wins rookie of the year for the Miami Heat, which is just insane that they got that far in the draft, by the way. Drummond six man, Giannis defensive player, Keegan Murray, most approved in Sacramento. Love to see that for the Kings. And then, uh, Chris Finch coach of the year. 
Nathan Matthew is your executive. So here's your NBA first team, which is nice. All NBA second team. Uh, well, that's the uh, third team. All NBA second team. All NBA third team. All defense first team. Lonzo Ball makes it, which is awesome. And all defensive second team. So uh, we did, in fact, get in the playoffs finally. So we are the third seed in the East, and we get to play the Indiana Pacers, ironically enough, as we obviously made a trade with them early on. But player stats wise, we had 22 from Bradley Beal, 19 from Chris Dasper, 16 from Lonzo Ball. 12 from Denny Abdia. And then, so Denny Abdia is low key kind of showing me that he's the starting small four you were looking for. So, uh, three point percentage could be a little bit better, but overall, been solid. Bradley Beal, 33% from three is not good. Lonzo Ball, 41, though. 43 from Corey Kispert. 34 from Miles Turner. And then 28 from Johnny Davis, finally cracking the rotation, averaging 11. 10 from Monty Morris. And then six from O'Shea Brissett, Isaiah Todd with one. Uh, so, we are in the playoffs and we get to play the Pacers round one. So, the Indiana Pacers have. Uh, Howard Burton, Buddy Hield, Chris Duarte. Dinwiddie starting at power forward. Gafford at the center. So there's no way we lose this team. If Dinwiddie is really starting at power forward for them, then come on, bro. Do not let me lose this team. That's just not something that should happen. They don't have a single power forward in the roster. So I guess they do, but they just said, you know what? Let's just start Dinwiddie at the four. There's no way. We are too tall for that. I mean, their biggest guy is Gafford. And how tall is Gafford? I'm pretty sure he's not. Isn't he like 6'10 or something? 6'9. So yeah. We should win this. There's no way. Somebody come around against Indiana. Bro, if we lose, I'm going to be upset. We beat them in five. Let's go. So we beat them in five, 29 and 24. So in that closeout game, we beat them by 24 points in that closeout game. 21 from Dinwiddie. Starting at power four for them made no sense. But regardless, hey, they made it to the playoffs doing that. So we got Boston upsetting Atlanta and then uh, Philly beating Cleveland. But now we get Brooklyn. So Brooklyn is definitely a tough team to beat. But I really love with what we've been able to put together here in DC. So you have Kyrie Irving, Cameron Thomas, Simmons, which Cameron Thomas had an interesting interview yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he kind of rolled his eyes when they talked about Steve Nash. So kind of crazy, but Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, Kyrie Irving, this is not going to be easy. They have the seven seed. So yeah, I kind of have a bad feeling about this, but let's just go game one. We're up on a zero beat them by 13, which is nice. Okay. So good start game two. They even it up. Fair enough. Game three. They're up two to one. Okay. Can we even it up? Yes, we can. So we are not going out without a fight. Game five is a big one. Let's simcast game five because this is going to this is going to be huge. So let's see if we can beat the Nets in game five to take an advantage here in this series. If not, it's probably bye bye us here in the second round. It looks like they're going to take game five away from us. So they, they beat us in D.C. Kevin Durant beating his hometown team. And do we force a game seven? We do not. We get eliminated in six games. But honestly, just fighting for... Just being here is honestly good enough. I feel like that would make Bradley Beal very happy. Celtics beat the Nets in five, and we got the Celtics winning the championship this time over the Warriors. So let's try this again, man. The fact that we even got to the second round is always really is actually really good still. So James Harden retiring uh, is crazy. Aldridge retires. Kevin Love's retiring. Draft lottery time. I don't even think we're gonna have our pick this year. Uh, Spurs get number one. Got Thunder number two. Suns number three. And then our pick goes to the Knicks this year, which I don't know if that's the case or not, but I'm just going to roll with it. I'm not going to look it up right now. So staff signing, you got Wes Unseld, which we just made the playoffs. So there's no point of like firing anybody. We're not going to do anything like that. Uh, but I definitely want to fill out my coaching staff for sure. So we'll have that come back. Shot doctor will get Sylvester Manning and then uh, big man coach. Let's get a good big man coach and less of our coaching staff is full, which is not. So we have a full coaching staff for the first time. Let's go. To the draft we go. I don't think we have a draft pick. So um, honestly, just kind of relying on Denny of Dia to develop. And then Rui Hachimura, I kind of want to use his money this offseason. Maybe Brissett as well. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's go to uh, player options, which unless we have a second round pick, which is high, which no, we don't have a pick. So let's just go straight to player options. Then so team and player options got Lonzo Ball. Isaiah Todd is sitting in this Costco. I'm going to accept. So Lonzo and Porzingis are both free agents this offseason. Denny of Dia is as well. Damn, we got some money to spend. We got some money to spend. Okay. I mean, we might be able to sign somebody else low key. No, we're going to have to bring these two back. So, Monty Morris free agent as well, which I want him back. So, we're bringing everybody back, which is uh, going to be quite cost effective, but it is what it is. So, we're going to offer Porzingis. Uh, Dia wants a lot. I want Lonzo Ball back, of course. So, we're spending some money, but at least this team got us the playoffs and had some success. I feel pretty good about this team rather than what it used to be. So, Avdia uh, is asking for some money. Not going to lie. So, Right now, team as constructed. So, looking pretty good. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I do want to see if there is a trade out there, though, that makes sense for us to do. Whether it's just getting, like, a better backup center or anything like that. So, I am contending right now. I am trying to contend for a championship. The 76ers literally have two players on the roster. Holy moly, that's insane. Uh, regardless, um, 
I guess what I should do is just kind of throw them in the trade finder to find out if I can find something good or not. So Rui Hachimura, I think for sure is somebody I do want to trade. I don't think he has a spot here anymore. Nero as well, uh, we did sign him to be like the backup center, but he hasn't really been playing. So I'll throw him in here as well with Rui, Rui Hachimura and see what pops up. So the 76ers offer me their last two players they have available. Mark Smart in a first sounds cool. Zubac in a first round pick sounds kind of cool as well. Clint Capella on a first round pick. That'd be kind of crazy. Omer and Caleb Martin. Thomas Bryant, Rashawn Holmes in a first, Mitch Robson in a first from the Knicks. So we're getting some good offers. Aaron Gordon, DR Johnson in a first round pick, two first round picks, Keon Johnson and Gary Payton. Okay. I want to grab one of these big mans. And honestly, I like the addition of Mitchell Robinson more than anything. Or Capella is low-key kind of crazy as well. But I feel like that's just uh, a lot of centers. But the Hawks take a gamble on Rui Hachimura, which is kind of cool. Um... But I feel like I want to do this one with the Knicks. So I'm going to get a first round pick. I'm going to get Mitchell Robinson to be my backup center here in Washington. So hopefully he's pretty good. And Avdia, I guess we're just going to have to rely on him be our better starting small forward. And hopefully he goes up. So we're paying hella luxury tax, which is fine. Honestly, this is a roster you want to pay for. So Lonzo Ball, Monte Morris, Bradley Beal, Johnny Davis. You have Denny Avdia, Corey Kispert. You got Porzingis, O'Shea Brissett. And then you have Mitchell Robinson and Miles Turner. Two guys that can shot block. So we are feeling pretty damn good about this so this is the final product i'm feeling good a lot of guys that can defend a lot of guys that can score then you have the hopefully he's gonna go up to like an 85 here that would be even more clutch and he uh is he's up to an 83 oh he doesn't go up more than i thought he would but regardless i mean this is a good team out east so hopefully this is the year we put it all together we got to the second round year last year so hopefully this year we could put this all together have a lot of good depth this is the year we can win a championship for dc we're power ranking number one uh, here's your coach game plan. Lonzo Ball, Bradley Beal, Dini of Diaz up to an 84. Porzingis, Miles Turner, Giant Davis, Corey Kispert, Mitch Robinson, and Monte Moore. So yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I think this is a really good team out East, and I feel like we match up very well. So hopefully we take care of business this year and we get it all done like we expected to. Still winning this season, let's go win a championship in DC. So at the end of the season, LaMelo Ball wins the MVP, Mike Williams Rookie of the Year, Drummond Sixth Man, Giannis Offensive Player, Jose Alvarado Most Improved, and Dwayne Casey Coach of the Year in Detroit. I assume that's where he's at. Yep, and then Christian Barley Executive. So All-NBA first team, I'm going to assume we don't have like any All-NBA members. Might have all defense. Yeah, so we got Alonzo Ball still making it. And then, yeah, I don't think we have anybody here. So player stats wise and we are the second seed in the eastern conference so went from the third to the second seed which is nice we had 21 from beal 20 from porzingis 16 from lonzo 14 from johnny davis 14 from Adia. so the stats are you know kind of spread out which i'm okay with because that means bradley beal had himself some help which is nice so bradley beal has got some help 31 years old this is tight this is it this is it man we got to win here so we get to play orlando charlotte probably so let's see which one we get we get orlando so obviously you guys know my luck in the past two videos has been very, very bad. So please, oh my dude, we get to play Webb and Yama and Paulo Boncaro. Okay, I am not feeling very good about this, to be honest with you. If we lose to a seven seed again, because the last couple of videos, I was the first seed, lost to an eighth seed. So I am feeling pretty, I don't know, game one, we're up one to zero. Good start, we beat them by four. That's that's good. I, I'm really hoping it all lose here. That's what, that's what it all boils down to. Game two. Two to zero. So far, so good. Two to one. Can we go up three to one? Yes, we can. Can we beat them in five? Yes, we can. Okay. Did not get upset by a seven seed in this video. Huge W. And we got Charlotte upsetting Detroit. And then Toronto takes care of Brooklyn. So now we just got to take care of Cleveland. And we're in the Eastern Conference Finals. Cleveland has a good roster. Don't get me wrong. So I'm not sitting here saying this is going to be no cakewalk. But regardless, we have kind of a tall ball lineup. So do, so do they. So I think this matches up. Pretty evenly, Milestone and Porzingis versus Mobley and Jared Allen. I like this matchup. So game one, we're up one to zero. Beat them by one to steal game one, which is nice. Game two, up two to zero. We beat them uh, by a pretty good amount, so that's good. Game three, up three to zero. Can we sweep them? No, three to one. Uh, beat them in five. Let's go. So now we get to play the Toronto Raptors. So we get home court advantage in the Eastern Conference Finals. Got Golden State and Houston. So that's a good uh, matchup they have over there with Jalen Green. Chris Paul went back to Houston. They got Jabari at the small forward right now, which is kind of interesting. Regardless, Toronto. You got Carlisle, Gary Trent, LeBron, though. LeBronto's in Toronto. And then you got uh, Amon Thomas, Scotty Barnes, and Kong Wu. Um, well, we'll see how this goes. I'm not, I mean, I'm not particularly scared of this roster. LeBron James at his age. Every time I do a Lakers rebuild, I feel like the reason why we never make the we don't do very good is because Bradley or because LeBron is so damn old. But maybe that's not actually the case. Maybe I'm just poverty. Game one, 
We're up one to zero. Get, beat them by 12. Good start. John Davis draft 27. Yeah. If he's averaging 16 in the playoffs, that is huge. And that's what he's doing right now. So John Davis, so glad I never moved on from you. Game two. We beat them by freaking what? Lonzo Ball drops 38 on his former, or I guess not his former team. I was about to say, uh, we are playing LeBron, his former teammate, LeBron James. Let's say that. Game three, two to one. Okay. Three to one. Could we beat them in five? Let's go, baby. We are in the NBA Finals with the Washington Wizards. Bradley Beal is finally tasting success, but now we get the Houston Rockets. So we got Chris Paul, Jalen Green. Chris Paul, as we know, chokes when it comes to rings. So this should be ours. Game one, one to zero. Game two, two to zero. Three to zero, and we sweep them and win a championship. Let's go. Man, the last couple of videos have been rough where we just lost in the first round against the AFC. But today, we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. We won a championship with the Washington Wizards. Let's get it. We only won. We only allowed our teammate or allowed our opponents to win one game each time, which is awesome. So that is great video. Great ending to a video. Like I said, the last couple of videos have come to a rough ending where I get upset by an AFC. So, so glad. We actually won this time, but man, I thought we put together a pretty good roster in DC, to be honest with you. The mouse earn edition was great. And obviously getting Alonzo ball was awesome. If you could steal Alonzo ball from uh, Chicago, by all means, go ahead and do that. I don't know how easy it would be to pull that off, but I thought Alonzo was the perfect addition here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, comment some other rebuilds you guys want to see. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.